three of the most popular TV game shows. Hello everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, we are going to be doing three of the most popular TV game shows. We're going to be starting with Chopped, then followed by The Amazing Race, and then ending with Deal or No Deal. Basically, uh, throughout this video, me and my friends are going to be uh, basically recreating our own versions of the popular TV shows. So before we get started, make sure to leave a like on the video. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. This is going to be a really cool video, and we are going to start with Chopped. And now let's go ahead and meet our competitors. So our first competitor tonight, Chef Benjamin. Hello, my name is Chef Boyardee Benjamin. I am starring on Chopped tonight. I am a great chef. I'm hoping to win tonight. I don't have any cooking experience. I have made TV dinners before though. So we're gonna, we're hopeful for tonight. Our second competitor on today's show, Chef Beth. Hello, my name is Chef Beth and I'm here on Chopped to win. I I bake and I don't know how to cook, so I'm going to try to cook and make that baking into cooking. Our next cook, or well, kind of definitely not a cook, Chef Caden. Hello, I am Chef Caden and I am here today on Chopped to see if I can win this food competition. I have zero cooking experience, but today, I am gonna see if I can pull out on top. I have a story when I was a kid. I put a pizza in. My mom told me to watch it for a little bit. And I pulled it out and it was black. And our final competitor on today's show is so favored to win tonight that she doesn't even get a full intro. Welcome, Chef Corey. Okay. So I'm going to reveal to you guys the mystery ingredients. Oh no. Now I would like to mention, I do not want to see just these ingredients thrown on a plate. I want to see something creative, uh, maybe the ingredients mixed together, and also please don't make the exact same thing because I have a bad feeling you guys are going to do that with the ingredients. Okay, so here we go. First ingredient, mozzarella cheese. And remember, you have to cook with all these ingredients. They have to be in your dish. Them. Yes. Now you can add some simple ingredients like bread or milk or if you need anything like that, we have that available on hand. The next ingredient, Oreos. You gotta somehow put that into your dish. And yes, they have already been eaten out of by me. The next ingredient we have, the next ingredient we have, homegrown eggs. Not um, here. No. Okay. I don't even know if they're homegrown, I just made that all up. But, last ingredient. I don't know why it's wrapped in another bag, the target lady did that. We have bacon. Um, and, and after you called me fat, low sodium. So, it's a fake pig. <laughs> a fake pig. So these are our ingredients, you have to use all these, and you have 30 minutes to make your dish. 30 Time. minutes? Yep. Time starting now. So, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. There's a lot of good ingredients. It will probably be breakfast related, but you guys can make like a sandwich, omelet, casserole. What is an omelet? Oh my gosh. Are you joking? This isn't a joke. Okay, so as the judge slash host, um, I'm going to be supervising you guys. Um, Benjamin is already cooking his bacon and he is eating Oreos. My bacon. So Caden, I'm very interested. What is your plan for this? I'm just gonna take raw eggs and put them and make it as a soup. Bruh. <laughs> Wait. That you is... You can do that, right? It tastes good. Are you, yeah, good. My are you trying to poison me? Benjamin has the bacon in. What are you doing? There's a shell in there. There's a shell in the egg. She's gonna feed me. I will admit, that smells really good to start off with. I would like to mention, I feel like I'm smelling something burning. I've never- Rule, been... rule one, if you burn the house down, you automatically lose. Dang. <laughs> so as they are in there cooking, I'm going to uh, 
give a little prediction. Uh, the, since Corey is going to be the fourth person, uh, I am 100% going with her. I have no faith in any of them, especially Kaden. Well, but here, I will mention this though. Beth is making a sandwich, and I really love breakfast sandwiches, so that's a pretty good idea. Have you even started? There's bacon on the stove right now. I just want to let you know, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I, now, I am, I am expecting very high class dishes. Like, almost on par with word of Are you insane? I've never made bacon or eggs in my life. You're burning the, it, off. Your burner is off. Wow! Make bacon off and then turn it on and wait like two minutes. I, I'm expecting on par with Gordon Ramsay. Uh, I really don't have faith oh! too much in someone. I just got burned. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> this is this is I, gonna be awful. Watch out! So Corey is making Woo! some concoction in a bowl. She's mixing the Oreos in there. That's actually a good idea to incorporate the Oreo. No, what is this? Just, just what is this? Trust the process. Woo! I found this. What is that? It's a Long story short. Oh my gosh. What is side. that? Beth, I, what are you making? I'm trying to fix it. What are you making? I don't know how to fix it. Well, what is that? It's supposed to be butter, but it burns. Oh my God, you so originally I had planned on just making a chicken bowl, but it didn't turn out. This is not going as I thought. Where's your microwave? The microwave has been turned on for the very first time. But you're already done with your dish? I'm going to perfect it a little bit. I am Did you use mozzarella cheese? Okay. I am putting bacon in the... Is the stove even on, Kaden? It is on. It is sizzling. <laughs> is I am making no, a taco. Awesome. You're making a taco. There is tortillas in there. I can't a breakfast taco actually sounds Matt nice. That's a good idea. Matt is the bacon done? I don't know. No. Yeah. Well, like if Caden wins this, like I have to give him like a major prize. Shot. Oh, that actually kind of looks decent. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give it a little bit longer. Hey, take the darn bread, man. No, Dude, are you are you done, Benjamin? No. What it, what's your plans now? I'm playing, Matthew. I'm not gonna lie, Caden's bacon is actually looking pretty decent right now. Half the Oreos have been eaten, and only one of them, I think, has been used for dish. Huh? So, Beth is currently putting bacon in the microwave. Huh? You're going to melt the cheese in the microwave by itself? Yes. What is that supposed to be? Or I should know. You don't melt it in the microwave. What the heck am I doing? You oh, Wait, are you making Oreo pancakes? Something like that. Keep going. Keep going. I'm decently excited at this point. I'm making an Oreo milkshake, no, half a Oreo milkshake without ice cream. A milkshake? You're gonna put cheese in pancakes. Hey, did, you get, did he get no shell in there? You did better than me, I got shell. But you gotta whip that now. If you're making scrambled, what are you? What type of egg are you making? Scrambled. What is this? <laughs> well, great. You actually had it decently, and now you ruined it. <laughs> oh my god. Do you even know how to use that? What is that? Oreo. That looks edible. That looks edible. It is edible. There's no seasoning. You didn't even add seasoning. <laughs> is this the drink you're making me? Yes. Oh, the hot heck. Guys, we're gonna pour some of our Canada Dry into the egg. All right. Look oh at my, my gosh. Beth literally just made. Whoa. Oh my. What is that? Oh yeah. I don't know. If I'm I would drink that. Um. So how are you gonna use the bacon, Beth? You have to get that out of there. It's gonna burn. What is this? This might be really bad, y'all. Okay, boys, put some Italian seasoning on there. <laughs> if you dump a ton on that, then what are you doing? What even is this? This is gonna be good, Matthew. I promise you. Where's the salt? Oh my god. There, you do not need to put that much salt on eggs. This way, Matthew. Trust me. <laughs> I have a question. Is this a pancake or is this like a different thing? It's a pancake without the right ingredients. Okay, so I have an announcement to make. We have 10 minutes. Now I have a question for you. How are you gonna do the Oreos? We'll find out. Where are they at? Wait, didn't you have Oreos egg? in your smoothie? Yeah, but I'm adding a little bit more. Okay. Get out of the way! Oh, there is syrup in the pan. I'm actually kind of liking this. Hey. 
Was this just an on the spot decision or do you have this plan, maple syrup with the bacon? I don't have any plan for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta have that maple bacon. Boys, I need more eggs. I need to cat. I you literally have nine minutes. I need to make a last minute egg. Oh. It's a blend, actually. Iced. Only the mystery ingredients. And the shell. And that is it. What do you mean in the shell? The shell is the like only- the egg shells are in there? No, I What? I mean the tortilla shell is the only thing other than the mystery ingredients. Guys, this looks freaking awesome. So you're done? Yes. Okay. Matthew, you get this in here. Where's plating? Oh. Spit more time plating. Okay, plating. okay. Ah. The, this is actually Wait, looking kind of nice. He's coughing on me. Wait, did you already do this? No, I was getting the ready whip out. I'm making it something. So here's what Beth has. Uh, we have, everyone, we're down to five minutes. Five minutes remaining. Once you are done, and set your plates on the table in there. Matthew. Who in the <laughs> decides to open the salt? Wait, did it spill out everywhere? The salt. Oh my gosh. Is that even done? It's done. <laughs> Whoa. Those two are still making their dishes. We have two minutes remaining. Oh my gosh. You no, just no. threw the Oreos in there? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have three dishes so far. Beth, you have one minute remaining. You better hurry. I'm almost done. <clears throat> okay, so time is up. So we have Beth's right here. There is Benjamin's, there is Cadence, and there is Corey's. It is time for the taste test. Okay, so it is time to see who made the best dish and which three of you guys will be chopped. So we're starting with Beth's dish. If you would like to come here, at first I thought this looked good, but now it kind of looks lumpy and it almost looks like lava from a volcano. So this kind of scares me. Okay, here we go. That is actually really good. What is it? It's literally just Oreos and milk mixed together. Oh, chocolate milk. Oh, basically. Oreo milk. That is good. I like that. We have a sandwich. Here we go. I like that there's extra bacon. There is eggs under the sandwich and they are stuck to the bottom. Okay. No, not cooking up, so. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't like that the cheese is not melted. It needs to be melted and warm. The eggs are actually pretty good. The bacon, the bacon seems like it's lacking flavoring, almost, if that makes sense. Maybe try, uh, she left pieces for me on the side, which I actually really like since I like bacon. Okay, I'm gonna get another bite of the sandwich, see if I can get some more bacon. There's two slices of cheese on here. So she gave me extra cheese. How do you feel about the way the bacon was cooked? Hmm. I might bite it a little bit. I would say a tad overdone. For my liking. Because I think you're a crunch. Yeah, because it's I like it a little bit crunchy, but I don't like it just I do like she gave me a drink and this was probably the best thing out of the whole thing. So, good job, Beth. Um, you will find out if you're chopped uh, later. Okay, Chef Benjamin, would you please explain your dish? So I started out with a circle of bacon that I let cook around the edges while cracking an egg in the center to create sort of a bowl plate, if you will. Once egg lightly cooked, press Oreo inside of yolk, let it cook around. That's what is in the center now, there, is the Oreo. Okay, so I'm very thankful that you added oranges to give it color. The only problem, I'm not a big fan of oranges. I like the toast. The toast actually looks really, really good. The toast yeah, looks good. The bacon, though, right here, if you look right here, looks a little bit underdone. It kind of scares me. Now, maybe door, towards I'm the center. i chewy bacon. So, what, what would, you, would you say this was your best performance possible? Oh, my fault. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna try the toast first because the toast actually looks pretty good. Now, what is on this toast exactly? So we have a little bit of basil, a little onion powder. We have a light vanilla syrup layer. 
one spice, I can't tell if it's the onion powder or what, that is kind of giving me an offsetting feeling with the toast. If you get rid of that, this is actually really good. The maple syrup with the butter and the toast actually tastes really, really good. Now, how do I eat this? Yeah, most likely fork it in the center, which you will get the yolk with the Oreo. They're oh. hooked in together. <laughs> it's something you're supposed to use in life. Um, what spices did you add into this? <laughs> So we have a little bit more of the basil, a light sprinkle of oregano with onion powder, as well as mozzarella. What does that look like to you? <laughs> that is chewy bacon. That is um, what you call raw bacon. <laughs> So cook the bacon better. That bite right there wasn't awful. Wasn't good though. Now this is an. I want. I want to get another piece of the toast because the toast was actually decent. That was really good. There was less spice on that. Chef Benjamin, mm. thank you very much. Okay, so Chef Corey, please explain your dish. The entire dish is maple glazed. Here you have the entire dish. a pancake at the bottom used with the cheese, egg, and the Oreos are also included. Okay. The bacon has also been cooked in maple. Now, is there bacon in this pancake? <clears throat> there is not. Okay. Kind of looks like meat almost. Yes, Chef. Which, which kind of scares me, but... Okay, here we go. This is how I would describe it. It's not meant to be a traditional pancake. It's almost, honestly, if you had said French toast, I probably would have put it over it. Okay, okay. Exactly. Because Fr if this was French toast, it's decent. Not the best French toast, but it's, it's actually pretty decent. I would say it's better than this. Okay, how's the bacon? I do like the bacon. You know what I'm gonna try? Let's try some of the whipped cream with this. With cinnamon drizzle? Okay, here we go. That was good. That was actually really good. And now I'm gonna try the bacon individually. That is good. Thank you, Chef Corey. And next up, last up, <laughs> Chef Caden. Okay, so Chef Caden, please explain your dish. That is a taco. That is not the description I was looking for. That is a doggo. Bacon, egg, cheese, <clears throat> melted cheese. Melted cheese, okay, that's actually Oreo. good. I do not know what that is on the bottom. Would you like to zoom in on this? <laughs> what is this liquid under my taco? That I that, it, I cannot explain what that is. Whoa. <laughs> You're taking a risk eating this, Matthew. Matthew, just come on. If this is my last video I ever make, this is why. <clears throat> Always puking. puking. How much salt did you put on that? I may have dropped a little bit of salt into the taco in one area and at not that at that rate you dropped the whole entire dead sea on the thing. <laughs> so just take another bite, it's okay. Was that an alien? Then I got the Oreos mixed in with the melted cheese and the eggs. This is the also at first I tried to avoid the liquid at the bottom. Whatever that liquid is at the bottom is toxic. <laughs> I don't know what you have put on my plate. I don't know if you have like what have you done? What have you have done? You, have, did you put maple syrup on this? No. Why is the top of the taco shell soaked? <laughs> Did you? I, I'm trying to think of an honest exclamation. 
I re Chef, I, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have no idea what that mysterious look was. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling it. Are you so What's it smell okay. like? Okay, this isn't a joke. Did you pee on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you talking oh, the dog. <laughs> what if the dog peed on it? <laughs> just imagine. I mean, at this point, you might as well just agree. I mean, you you should agree that the dog peed on this, or else this is like this is like. <laughs> Am I eliminating? Cameraman, would you follow me, please? Um, I'm gonna show you where this dish belongs. What? No! Chef Caden. I'm not even saying thank you. Okay. So, three of you guys will be chopped. We will have one winner. This rate, I'm very scared for my well being with this. Caden, you've been chopped first. Okay. So, on. So who has been chopped next? Chopped at third. We have Beth. Beth has been chopped at third. Oh. And there is one reason for that, and I will get into that in a second. Chopped at number two. The final loser, and also the winner announcement, Benjamin, you have been chopped. Ah! Now, the only reason you even got over Beth was because of the toast. If the toast was not on there, you would have been miles behind Beth. But that leaves Corey. You have won the first ever Chopped on the Matthew Wisniewski channel. The uh, pancake was pretty decent. The bacon was the best thing I've had. I was actually, because I said the bacon was the best thing I've had today. That is not true. That shake was the best thing. I completely forgot about the shake when I was like doing the order. What? Okay. I have some bad news for you, Benjamin. Since I did forget about the shake, I think it is only fair. Good. This one like I have, that is the wrong dish. That's that one. <laughs> this one has now finished in third. Benjamin, you were chopped now second. Please do not throw the plate at me. Beth, you will finish in second. The shake actually almost got you close to Corey's, but you will still finish in second. And Corey is still the winner of the first ever chop. And Daisy is excited. So, so me and Caden have six different tasks that we got to complete. But before we get our first one, we have to do rock, paper, scissors. The winner gets their first task. The loser has to wait a full two minutes before they get their first one. So here we go, rock, paper, scissors. Winner goes now. Okay. Like, like now, like the yeah, second? Yeah, okay. right now. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes, go Great, on. oh my gosh. Okay, um, by the way, uh, your guys' two minutes have started. I know. Come on, let's go. <laughs> guys, so. I am here in the car, and I'm going to read out the first task that we have. So go to downtown playground by river and museum and go down three slides. Look up. These people are just leaving. We're not that far behind. Why would the door open? Oh my god. Okay, give me the clue. Give me the clue. Give me the clue. Okay, go to the downtown playground by the river and go down three slides. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm just driving right now. And Matthew, Matthew's sense of direction, if you all know, is really good. So if he wins, it's because he knows better ways to get to places. And the traffic is horrendous. Well, it was horrendous. So yeah, we're almost there. And we'll see when we get there. I'd say there's so many cars coming and there's literally only one. There's a mailman. Oh my gosh, come on! I got places to be, people! So right now we are about halfway there. I took a different way than Caden's definitely going to take because Caden probably only even knows one way to downtown. Uh, definitely feel like this way was faster. But they had the advantage, we'll see. Uh, as you see, film, the river is right there. And so is the big boat. Look! What? <laughs> they're right there running back to the car. 
Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh, I was about to say, I don't see him. That either could be very good or very, or bad. very bad. They're not here. That's either very good or very bad. That means they've either already completed the task or they have already, or they're not here yet and they're lost downtown, which is honestly what I think it is. That's Steve. What? Oh yeah, there they are! Look, here, 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 Look, they're driving in right now. They had to have got lost bad if they're just now getting here. Okay, one more slide. Daddy, why? Alright guys, so we are here at the park and we have got to go because I think that's Matthew's car. So... Ha! Yeah, I just now got here! <laughs> we're done, we're leaving. Are they going down slides now? He's going down slides now. Okay, so we're on our way. Go to Walther's Arcade and Golf and get 500 tickets? 500? Slide. They went down three slides already? That took him 30 seconds. We lollygagged too much. Oh my God. Okay, they, they're they literally right behind. Second task is Go to Walters and get 500 tickets slash credits. Are you kidding me? 500 tickets? That's a lot of tickets. All right. There's so many lights on Main Street. And slow people. And slow people. Huh. So we are here at Golf, Walters, and Fun. Um, we are about to do the second task of this long list of tasks. It's cold outside. I hope we don't have to play golf outside. Do you see him anywhere? I don't see him. <gasps> no way! How'd they beat us? Good. You've got to be kidding me! So we got stopped by like the slow car. A little light, are we? How did you beat us? <laughs> so Caden didn't know how to use the kiosk, so we actually caught back up to him. Here we go. We got stopped by some fans. Uh, thank you to everyone that said hello. 75, 25 again, you've got to be kidding me. But thank you to everyone who said hello. We had multiple uh, people asking for pictures, including uh, a mother. So thank you to all the moms that watched. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna read it while driving. Stay at Walters. Wait a second, don't go yet, don't go yet. Stay at Walters by doing a round of mini golf. If you score more than 45 points, however, you must play another round. Okay, so I just got the golf clubs and stuff. Remember, we have to get under 45 points, but Caden also just got 500 tickets, so he's gonna, uh, be right behind us, so we gotta move. Here we go. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, that's two. Our third task is stay at Walters and do a round of mini golf. If you get a score higher than 45, you must restart and do another round. What? If you get over 45 on the second round, you still 
you can still move on. So we just got to back in the car for nothing. What? Stop it. Get some help. Come on. Okay, through seven holes right now, we're at 17, which is really good so far. But this guy is catching up. So right now we're at 28. So we're doing good. Okay, 30 with only two left. We're good. We're good. We're at 32 with only one hole left. So we've been doing really good. And as long as like we don't go into the water. No, no. We have to try to get it out of the water then. Okay, Here, I'll help you. Oh my god! Uh, oh no, my hoodie! I just, I just went in. I just dipped my arm into the water with my hoodie sleeve all the way up. Watch out. Okay, so then what am I at then, technically? Three? Already? Oh no. Four? Yes! Okay, that's five. So, we got it in 35. Wait, you're at 40. So this is huge. No way. Oh no! That's a penalty shot. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the exact same thing! Next, you gotta get it in the next two. Focus, Hayden. Focus. You need this. You have to do a whole other round. Please, man. Why are we waiting? We need to go. Only two more tasks left, right? Or we have three. Oh my god, my hair's going crazy. I'm exhausted. Oh, oh my god, where's my keys? Vegas. Find Benjamin and shake his hand. Where's Benjamin at? I'm assuming that means he's at work. I mean, I'm sure he is at work, but I'm I'm hoping that means he's at work. What if he's not at work? Then we have to go to his house. What if he's not there? Then we have to go to Texas. Texas? He was in Texas a week ago. So if he's still there, we're in trouble. Okay, let's go. Very dramatic ending. That saved me a lot of time. So for our fourth task, find Benjamin at work and shake his hand on camera. What? How do we even know he's at work? Let's go right now. We gotta go. I don't know why I'm sitting here. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? This is it, I'm gonna beat you. You're in the wrong lane, by the way. Shut up. I'm still ahead of you. <laughs> Just cars here. Probably in an employee's only spot. No, don't be. No, that is not allowed. Okay, get in. Stand to the front, please. Stand to the front. 
Wait, okay, you're not the we're not the reason you're getting called to the front. Can I shake your hand please? Please can I shake your hand? <laughs> okay, okay, go, 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 go. I'm pretty sure there's only one clue left, or there may be two, but let's go. Go back home and make a 30-yard football shot. Are we going back to the trick shot days? The bro awesome days? Okay, let's go. Look at this, loser man, loser. Hey, you got beat here, loser. I gotta grab the football. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, we gotta go, we're in. Okay. Oh, that's in. No! That's in. Oh my God. In fact, if you would have... Matthew, what? your phone just died. Oh my god, I made it! I made it! Oh my god, I made it! Alright, we made the shot, and you've got to be the final clue. Okay, Caden just made his shot. So, they're on the final clue. I need to make this fast. What? Oh! Oh, we gotta go! Come on! Final clue. Search for the button on the property. First team to find it wins. We've got to find it right now. Go, go, go. We got to go. We'll get a head start since we finished. Oh, oh. Oh, no. oh, no. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the last clue? Find the buzzer hidden on the property. Touch it for the win. Okay, okay, so there's a buzzer hidden. I don't know where you're going. So it's anywhere on the property? Anywhere, it could be anywhere it wants anywhere to be. Anywhere on the property. It could be inside a house, it could be outside. Shut up, there it is. And this is me being 100% honest. It is either one on the porch, or it is two. Or is it in the bathroom? Yeah, I, I had a feeling it's in the bathroom. It's because one. She said something about well, no, you know why? Because she did. She said that we've been by it many times. Kind of. It's bro. No, I said check everything Matthew has out here. Everything that he has. Okay, it's definitely out here. <laughs> Beth just gave it away. Yeah. It must be he, somewhere that I've checked. A and, ton. And, and he didn't move anything to check. It's got to be somewhere that I've checked a ton that you haven't. Yeah, okay. I don't think. Why am I helping you? It's over here. It's oh. got me in the fridge. It's over here. Why would it be in the fridge? What the heck? Did a phone just go off when I touched the fridge? <laughs> Mine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was a phone in the fridge. Oh my God! It is the fridge! I win! That's not even fair, bro. Why is it on? The I just lost 200. Oh. That means that's not in my case, you donut. Oh. You <laughs> got oh my god, it's in between 12 and 140. Oh Come on. Wait, I get to pick it. No, 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 you're not saying what deal it is. Hello. I'll tell him. Oh. Here is the offer. Oh. 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 No. He, he, he clicked no deal. Come on. Come on, 140. Come on. It's 12, I believe. You won! Thank you all for watching today's video. This was a really cool video. Just basically three videos in one of us doing uh, the popular game shows. And there was a lot of funny moments, a lot of really cool things. And hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We are so close to 9,000 subscribers. And I post a ton of really cool videos. So many more cool videos coming out soon. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You do not want to miss anything. Also, leave a
a like on the video and comment uh, which uh, TV show recreation you thought was the best. Um, but hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And that's going to be all for this one. So till next time, see ya! Say that it feels right.